Hello, my name is Darren Thomas. I'm the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this particular video, I'm going to show you how to make a, a quiz item that involves dragging and dropping text onto an image or onto a background. So, as you can see, I'm already logged into Moodle and we go off into the right hand side, you have this thing called the question bank. You click on this and then it takes you to the, the, the potential quizzes. And so, of course, we got to create a new question. And this time, we're going to drag and drop markers. That's what we're going to do here. And so, basically, a marker is something that you put onto a background image. This will make more sense in a second. So I click Add, and it takes me here. And of course, I have to give it a name. Now, what we're going to do in my example here that I'm going to demonstrate for you is we are going to have students label a, a blank map of Europe. That's what we're going to do. So I'm going to call this map of Europe. That's the name of the question. And then the question text is label the questions or label the countries that are listed below. So they're going to label. Okay, so that's what they're going to do. That's the directions. You should you should already be familiar with the question name and the question text from prior videos. And of course, you know what feedback is. Uh, highlight drop zones. This is another feature. I would not do this unless you want to provide immediate feedback to the students. That is uh, very, very useful for them. If this is a formal quiz and you don't want to provide that immediate feedback, well, then you don't want to select that. So now we have to select our background image. So we choose file and you know where you keep this on your computer will be different from me, but then you click choose file again. And then this is the little picture that I'm going to use. It's a blank picture of Europe. Then I click upload this file. All right, so here is our map. Notice how they added the grid lines. Uh, that was not there in the actual image. And now for the markers, I have to give them names. So the first one, we're going to have them label France and we're going to have them label Spain. Now they also have here how many times can they use the actual marker. We're going to just put one time. Um, this will just, you know, reduce the confusion for the students. And of course you can shuffle these if you want to. We can put way more choices if we so desire as well. <clears throat> and now for the drop zones. This is where it gets kind of complicated, and so you need to listen carefully. First, we have to indicate the marker. So for the first one, it's going to be France. Notice how France will be the color of white. And then for the second one, it'll be Spain. Notice how Spain is a bluish color. Now, inside this box, you have to put a coordinate for the XY, XY on, the, on the actual graph, and also the size of the actual marker. So the, the, the shape of the marker right now is circle for both, which is fine. You have to put a side for the radius. This gives like a zone in which the answer can be. You don't want it to be too small because the students will get it exactly in the perfect spot. Moodle will mark it wrong. Of course, you don't want it to be too big either because then the students can just put the answer anywhere and still get the, the credit. So what happens is that you have to play with the X and the Y axis on, in terms of where the actual marker will fall on the map as well as the size of the radius. So. I just know from playing with this before making the video that the coordinates that work best for me for France is 120 by 270, then a semicolon, and we end up put the size of the of the circle as 40. That's the radius. And if you see it, if you were watching carefully, you can see that it's right here. So this is France. This is the radius. This outer circle is the radius in which the answer can fall, and that's where the student can get credit. So if the student puts it somewhere in France, they're pretty covered. Now for Spain, the coordinates that I, I worked out again prior to the video, and when you do this, you'll have to play with it. So for example, uh, just to give you, let's say I didn't know exactly where, where France was at. Maybe I put it at 200 or 200 here. You can see it's off a little bit. And then, oh, let me try 150. Ooh, I'm a little bit closer. Okay, how about 120? Boom, perfect. Now, moving on to Spain. The coordinates that I found that worked best was 70, comma, 320, semicolon, and about a radius of 35. So you can see that's Spain right there. And again, you have to play with these coordinates in order to find out what works best. The rest of these we're not going to deal with. 
combined feedback, you should already be familiar with this. And of course, you can put a penalty for multiple tries. So let's see if we got everything correct here. All right, excellent. Now to review the actual question, we click on, the name of it was Map of Europe, and we click right here on the little magnifying glass, and you can see it right here. So let me make this a little bit bigger for you. There we go. So I have my two choices here, label the countries that are listed below. So for France, I will put it about right here. And then for Spain, I will put it about right here. And then, you know, you can submit and finish if you so desire. But these two should get credit because they're within the radius that I, I specified. All right. So drag and drop onto an image is a really cool feature that really helps to engage the visual learners in your class as an example. And it's just another way to, you know, help them to learn and to grow in their experience in using Moodle. Um, of course, you don't want to limit it to only to geography. You can, for example, use it in anatomy and physiology to label the parts of the body or, you know, label the names of planets, you know, names of cities and states. You know, if you're teaching ESL, they can label the names of different nouns and objects like car or chair. You know, it's, it's again, the limits of Moodle is your own imagination. So I hope that this video was helpful for you and I thank you for watching. Take care.